So I was walking around and I was thinking, what am I going to make today? I don't know what the vibe is until I saw this comment that said, why don't you try making some Steve Lacey type stuff? And I'm like, that's perfect. So that's what we're going to do now. But before I jump into it, I have got a few questions that I wrote down because I forget them. First of all is, oh yeah, so these are the, these are the videos that I've got coming. Do we like them? And then also comment below, what else are we working on? What else are we doing? Sweet. And then number two, I've just opened up my Patreon and I would be wicked if you guys could join. I've got some awesome stuff on there, including like, so I chop a lot of stuff out of these videos, but if you want the full unedited versions, which includes me messing up and my decisions and me talking through some processes that I cut out, you can go check out the full videos on there. And then also like subscriptions to stuff in my store, like discounts and then like on the pro tier, you can just get all the sample packs forever for free, just cop them whenever I drop them. So yeah, join the Patreon, but my question is what else, what other perks would you guys be interested in? What else can I put out for you guys that you'd be like, yeah, 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 I'll be down. Let me know, put it in the comments as well. Uh, in the meantime, should we make some music? Let's make some music. So I didn't do no research. I'm just going off of vibes. I don't have a tempo in mind, but we're gonna start with 90. And I don't have an idea in mind, but I'm gonna start with drums. How fun is that? Okay, yeah, in my head, I've got a bit of an idea for a drum beat, which could potentially be the thing. See, this is like one of my fatal flaws. No matter what genre I'm doing, I just always need a popping kick. I can't help it. Even when it's totally not necessary, like we would obviously go with an acoustic drum kit here, but it just can't be helped. There you go, that's nice. And it has a nice amount of high end, a bit faster than I'm thinking. Let's go 81. Yeah. I'm thinking da dun, ka, dun, da da. Yeah. For a little bit of variety. Kick pattern. Weird that I would do all of that first before I had a snare pattern, but we're gonna go two and fours on that, so yep. Oh yeah. Easy. I'm gonna go. Just for a little bit of variety, I'm gonna go bum, bum, bum. I think we get rid of this last snare and I think we do our hats. Yeah, something like that. One, two, three, four. Oh, have me on the last bit. One, two, three, four. But you see all these small variations in velocity, that's like happy accidents because we're getting a subtle groove and it's helping humanize what we did without having to tweak things for hours, you know? Here we go, one, two, three, four. Feels nice. Feels a little bit wooden. Let's bring in. Let's bring in some. Uh, whoops. Some room. And once we dial in the room, we're gonna put a little bit of everything to it. So. Nice. Let's bring the velocity down of these. Just a very underneath layer, I think. We're gonna push up the drive. We're gonna do some more compression. We're gonna get some of the distortion from that. Bring it right down, doesn't need to be that crazy. Something stealing my high end way more than just this. That feels good to me. Let's move to the next part. My guitar, let's get that plugged in. Grab a tuner, which normally I always forget to charge, but I've got a session tomorrow, so it needs to be ready. Oh. Yeah, so let's let's find a chord progression. Oh, that's a really nice chord progression. Two, three, four. You know? 
That's really lovely. And let's get this, let's get this dialed in. Now, the very highest clean on my guitar is broken. So I had to use this kind of, it's slightly muddy. So my first port of call is to try and bring it out of the mud a little bit. Cool. Now let's add some warmth and character. And then we're gonna think saturation. We've got some, we've got some frequencies that aren't lovely in there. A little bit cleaner, that's nice. Um, and then I'm gonna do something that I think will make all the difference. Let's grab my chorus. already okay so next thing coming with the bass which is all the way over here dun, 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 dun. I, th I think I might have played an F sharp I can't remember dun. yeah I didn't play it yeah I played it F sharp the one thing I will do differently is I'm gonna try playing a pick on the bass two three four Okay, we're back. I'm back. Let's run it. I'll tell you what I'm tempted to do, and this is a cool little trick. So you do have to be careful with like chorus and splitting and low end and blah, 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 blah. But let me show you a little cool ting that could potentially have a cool effect. If I load up a chorus, we don't want to split our bass frequencies wide, but we, what we can do is basically create an effects rack, right? So if I EQ this to take out all the low end, and solo just that. Does anyone feel like that's not as crazy as they thought it would be? It sounds nice, but what are you thinking in your head? I'm thinking let's compress it more. And no one ever said you can't do two. That's a cool little tone, huh? I like that a lot. And that could that could almost be it, couldn't it? But I'm thinking I'm thinking of adding some vocals, so maybe something like this. One, two. If I can do that all at once. Take a deep breath in. I'm gonna do the whole, however many bars, four bars. Two. <laughs> Almost went lightheaded with that. <laughs> uh, I have a harmony, just. I don't know, my mind just tells me where they are now. Sorry, that's not very helpful. I didn't record for long enough, my bad. Two, three, and... I faltered on those last notes. So I'm not gonna lie to you now. I struggled on them last ones. Let's try that again.
much better if we stagger that so it comes later. Oh my goodness. That's all gonna need compressing. But let's just, let's stay in where we are in this zone for now. The uh, the creative place. Get it in time, get it in line. You can see there's some parts are fatter than others. That's gonna need some compression for it to sound really nice. And you know what, let's just do it now and get everything out of the way of directly in the middle. I like that. Just, just, don't know. Oh, let's not record over the same track. One, two, three, four. should be easier as well because I get to come in later. I think it's a mental thing. Big breath. <clears throat> so I hear something like, Okay, let's, let's, I've got like 17 ideas, but let's start knocking them out of the park before I start adding and popping and this and that in, you know? One thing at a time. First of all, tuning. I, I think we're in F sharp minor. I have no proof. I'm just thinking of the first chord I remember playing. I'm gonna have to do a custom one because I think it changes keys, so... That makes things a little bit tricky. In fact, I'll tell you something, we might just be good to just be able to go. Let me hear how this sounds. Yep, that works. That works for me. I'm not gonna put it on every single track on during the video because I'm getting nervous about my CPU, but uh, rest assured, I will do that during the arrangement process. I'm just gonna put it on the worst offending ones, you know, like proper, rough notes and then also some compression is a key is key here let's get that let's get that fixed just get that dialed in especially for these ones are normal these ones are actually like kind of okay but something like that come on man cool uh that that's a good baseline let's eq out some of the harsh frequencies That's really cool. And then we're gonna drench in some long verbs. So let's. Sounds divine. What am I thinking now? Just some way of messing with it, you know? Uh, chorus again. Let's hear it. Don't love that. Oh, phase. I wanna open the top up even more on that. So I'm thinking start off and then we're just going to do a touch of automation, right? Something like this.
And then, and then in the verses, right, we don't have the rides yet. Dimension. Yeah, stay with me, stay with me. And then uh, a little, a little cut everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one still. Yeah, cut, cut the bass. Cut the bass. Cut the bass. Woo! Okay, let's, let's, let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it. I wish I had a good woman. I wish it was right. Never falling, never, never falling. I don't know if she's the one for me. I don't wanna have to sell my problems. You don't wanna have to take it all. Thank you so much guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one um as always the beat's going to be available in my beat store join the discord and stuff but also join the patreon come say hello and support and everything and if maybe i can like pull some beats up and we can work on some stuff together and uh, film a video out of it so i really appreciate all the love and support i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so please subscribe um if you're liking the videos obviously peace out